Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Over Potato. This is Evil Bank Manager. We are, of course, managing not necessarily a bank, but, you know, certainly an investment body, an investment vehicle thing, and we seemingly are doing pretty darn well. Um, in the last episode, we increased our ownership. We've got a bunch of gold. We've started making weapons. Everything is going remarkably smoothly, and I am very happy that it is going that way. Um, anyway, we're about to go to the next turn, and um, we need to start thinking about opening up a brand new country. That is certainly something that I um, that I want to do. Unfortunately, though, I don't think that there is anywhere that is um, that is actually going to cost. I mean, I, I don't even know how we can tell the value of opening up a country. I mean, it costs such a large amount of money to open up any of these places. Scotland is forty-one thousand bucks. That is just way out of my league. Um, honestly, it shows all of these numbers as like, um, I don't know what the number means, but it's certainly not working. Um, Brittany, wow, holy cow, I absolutely want to open up Brittany. It looks very, very cheap, and therefore it looks achievable. So perhaps we could think about um, opening up Brittany. I don't know if there's like anywhere else that we can... I don't know if there's anywhere else that we can look at. 20,000 in Naxos. Um, Egypt, we could open up a bunch of regions of Egypt, but yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know how you can tell what, uh, how expensive a country is. Oh, goodness me. Uh, I don't know how you tell how expensive a country is to open. That costs 200,000 bucks. Yeah, I don't know. Um, also, in terms of, in terms of, um, what we can do with, um, with Northern Ireland, not Northern Ireland, Western Ireland, Ireland even, um, we can... Upgrade our relation. We can upgrade our um, influence with them. Improve the attitude towards your bank. I mean, we've got quite a lot of a lot of money invested in Ireland, so I'm pretty happy with the fact that um, what we've got. I don't know what max investments actually means. I don't think we are going to be able to uh, purchase anything else in. Ireland. I don't know if that's the case. Um, should we try? I also don't know what luxury resource. I don't even know what luxury resource that is. Um, we do not like to pay taxes, and this is why the state's attitude towards us is getting worse with every move. When the state's attitude drops to red, the government blocks our property. Okay. Um, can we upgrade our relationship? I don't know how we do this. Let's do a gathering. Did that do something? Hope so. Region level is seven. Ah, okay. I guess the region level. Can we sort by region level? No. Region power leveling? I guess that's an indicator of... Um, I guess that's an indicator of how much it costs to get invested in the country. In fact, no, it's not. I'm completely wrong. I have literally not got any idea what that what that is tied to. Um... Fine, I guess. I just, it's so confusing. It's so unbelievably confusing. The wealth of a region, I, yeah, I don't understand that. I don't understand very much about this game, honestly. I don't think that we will be able to buy any more property in, um, in Ireland. We might be able to, but it seems that we're only allowed to buy up to 28,000, uh, in Ireland at the moment. So, we might be stopped. Anyway, create a new batch of weapons, yes. There's no available property in the country. Open up more countries. Yes. Okay. Well, we need to do that then. We need to do that with um, with haste. Okay. Well, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. First of all, we're going to create a bunch of bows. We're going to create a bunch of swords. We're going to order them, and we're going to get them. Um, we're going to get them sold off in the um, in the market. Also, it looks like we have a bunch of grain that we can sell because, of course, we harvest the grain in spring. So let's sell off that. Let's sell off that, and let's sell off that. So, all together gives us um, gives us a good a good chunk of change, really. What I also want to do is I also want to potentially look at if we can sell off if we can sell off something. Let's go into our um, overview screen here. If we were to sell off, if we were to sell off the house in order to get access to Scotland, for example. We would need to sell off a lot of resources in order to get 
into Scotland, get invested in Scotland. But I would like to do that because that means that we'll be able to start investing in other places. Um, the other one that I looked at was Brittany. Brittany needed 20,000 um, of investments and there are 29,000 investments available in Brittany. Um, it looks like other countries are, it looks like other banks are starting to go into multiple regions. We're of course just in one currently. Um, although we're not doing too badly, um, if I do say so myself. If we're going to get into another into another country, we're going to need to try and sell off a couple of things. Um, it's probably worth us selling off. It's probably worth us selling off the farm. We've just had the benefit from the farm, and we're not going to be seeing the benefit for another wee while. So let's sell this off right now, and that's going to give us a whole bunch of money to play around with. And don't forget that now that we've sold some of our property in Ireland, we're going to be able to purchase new property very very soon in Ireland because of course we're capped in terms of the amount that we're allowed to um, that we're allowed to buy in Ireland so uh, the available investment is 12,500 um, and my investment is is 16,000 the maths is wrong on that because these two numbers presumably should add up to the max investment it doesn't particularly matter that is what it is you see it these two numbers should add up or maybe I'm just missing something I don't know anyway um, let's go and unlock Brittany there we go. They're neutral towards us. That's kind of nice. Can we upgrade our relationship? Apparently not. Um, I don't know if we need to hire a separate manager to manage uh, to manage Brittany. I don't think so. Also, leveling the headquarters is something that we can do. Um, hold on a minute. Nope. Stop. 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 Yeah, so we need to be able to level up our headquarters somehow. And it looks like we need resources in order to do that. So, um, cool. And that will give us a bunch of a bunch of upgrades to all of our buildings. So we need to be able, to, yeah, and we needed to be in two regions in order to get our headquarters upgraded. So, let's go to the next turn and see if we get any investment opportunities. After that, we'll see how we can upgrade our headquarters. I suspect I might just be able to click quick improvements, and that'll buy all of these resources for me. But that's just a guess because I've never done it before. Anyway, next turn. Invest in property. Are we going to get the op the opportunity to invest in two places? We are indeed. That is very, very, very cool indeed. And that's an iron mine. And I care a lot about iron mines because they are really, really valuable for us. Um, first of all, let's have a little look at upgrading our headquarters. Yeah, okay. So we could do it, but, um, but I actually want to prioritize getting our investment into um into iron i also would love to buy this space of land um, because we are going to be uh, we'll be able to get the benefit from the fields after autumn uh, however if we want to do this then we're going to have to sell off some of our existing property before we do that however let's go and turn our existing iron into uh swords and bows i know that there is a slight fluctuation on the market when it comes to uh, when it comes to the price of weapons. Truthfully, I'm not really that bothered about it. I'll just take it as it comes every turn. I'm not too interested in, you know, point one here or point one there. Yeah, I know it makes a difference, but it is what it is. Um, also, we should probably be looking to try and game the system a little bit. You know, we can see that there's going to be a point two improvement um, to uh, agriculture in two turns. We should be looking to buy... We should be looking to buy some of it and make a, a quick profit. I presume that there's probably a bigger discrepancy. Yeah, if we look at silver, right? You can see that silver over the course of a couple of turns uh, is going to go, you know, up by almost an entire, an entire bit of gold. So that's really, really nice. Same with skin. Luxury resources seem to vary a lot more than regular resources, which is very, very cool indeed. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I want to try and get this, um, this iron mine secured. An iron mine would be phenomenally useful. I would also love to get the land allotment, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Anyway, let's go and have a little peek over here. Um, is it time to sell off the house? I think it probably is time to sell off the house. Uh, yeah, let's sell off the house. We made a good bit of profit from that house, so I'm pretty happy with the way that that works. I still don't really understand the way that um, the assets uh, appreciate and depreciate, so we'll just have to just have to, to go with that one, really. Um. As I say, that looks alright. I also don't understand the difference between the purchase price and the base price. 
I guess that's just an indicator of is it overvalued or is it undervalued, but I'm not really buying it for being overvalued or undervalued. I'm buying it for the benefit that I get from the resources, which of course is iron. Iron is pretty nice. Um, could we look at getting an upgrade to our headquarters? I sort of feel that we could do that. I'm going to do it right now. So that means that we're, we're at level two now, I do believe. Yeah, we're at level two. And that should theoretically mean, that should theoretically mean that we can access a bunch of other upgrades to our other buildings. So for example, um, the investment area, investment bonus, after improvements. I don't understand any of this. I, I don't understand any of this at all. Uh, no idea what that means. Can we upgrade our armory? Work bonus. No idea what that means. I know what the available work... I mean, I don't even know what that means, honestly. I, I, I literally don't understand. But anyway, over in real estate, right? We must be able to get... Um, we must be able to just get more storage slots, I guess, in order to... Because at the moment, we can only have five objects, so to speak. Okay, fine. I mean, it is what it is. We'll just roll with it. Okay, cool. Um, let's see if we can invest in property or if we want to invest in any property. A stone cutter's camp. And there's a farm over here. Don't really want to buy either of these. I mean, I do want to buy both of them. But unfortunately, the sad reality is, is that I'm not going to be able to, uh, to do that. Let's do our standard. Available work. The amount of work that can be spent on making weapons per one move. Yeah, I mean, I get it, but, like, I still don't understand where it comes from or how it works. Um, so, let's sell off uh, all of the swords, all of that, and we'll sell all of that. Now, is that enough for us to buy either of these? The Stonecutter's Camp. Man, I would love to buy the Stonecutter's Camp. Um... It is a little bit overpriced, so I guess we'll just sort of hold off on it for now. Invest in property department investment. Yeah, still no real idea how that works. Yeah, no idea. No idea whatsoever how that works. Okay, can we invest in something now? We've got a fur-bearing animal farm or a house. I would love to buy this fur-bearing animal farm. However... I don't think I'm going to be able to. Also, the current value of this, which shows how, how many resources I have, right? Completely understandable there. Let's go over to here and let's turn that and that into that, right? So let's see if it goes from 1,100. Let's see if it increases. Yes, it totally does. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that that was... Uh, that was like an accurate representation. So we're basically gaining about 300 ducats for uh, every weapon order that we do. Um, cool, fine. It's not the most glamorous of work, and it is a little bit grindy, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, land allotment and or a house. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do to deal with either of those. Um, let's just go to the next turn. Let's just let it let let's just let it increase. Oh, the war began with the regions. Let's go and have a look. We can have a look at the war uh, mongering layout. We can see that there is a war going on over here. Interesting. Looks like I can join. But I don't particularly want to do that. Not at all, thank you very much. Let's have a little look at the stats. I'm currently at the very bottom. How am I at the very bottom? Oh yes, of course, because I spent... 20,000 bucks trying to invest in uh, another country which in hindsight might not have been the greatest the greatest thing in the world to do uh guild of stone cutters i don't want to do that i want to get iron i want to get iron and or wood or something that produces luxury resources i'm not sure if stone actually counts as a luxury resource but hey ho and um, let me have a quick look at the exchange let me see what the um the price is doing here uh it's staying pretty much the same for now uh, what is the price of arms doing? Well, first of all, we might as well just turn 
all of that into that. There we go. And that's increased the amount of resources that we have quite substantially, in fact. What are the resort what are the what's the price of arms doing? Okay, so the price of swords is gonna go. You know, let's hold off for one, two, three turns. One. Um, of course, unless we come across something that we really like. Not really. Uh, we need to improve relations with um, with Ireland. I don't know why this is a thing that we have to do, but it apparently is. Uh, whoops, let's go to the map. Let's go to Ireland. And let's... We're sort of neutral with them at the moment. Conduct negotiations with the government in order to improve the attitude towards your bank. I'm sure it does something. I just have literally no idea what it does. Um, so, yay, that's great. Uh, anyway, let's go next turn. Is there anything that we can buy? There is something that we can buy. Yep, but let's go to the next turn. There we go. Okay, fine. Uh, Fur-bearing animal farm. That is something that I absolutely am going to buy this turn. We're going to try and turn all of our... All of our weapons and all of our iron, all of our raw resources into... Uh, refined resources. We're going to sell all of that off. That's a big, 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 big injection of cash. I'm going to take it. We know that it's uh, pretty much as good as it's going to get in terms of sword and bow prices. Let's take that. That's going to give us 9,000 bucks to play around with. Um, cool. I like that a lot. Let's get furs. We could get, um, we could get, oh, we can get, we can get either or actually. Could get it in Brittany, or we could get it in um, in Ireland. It looks like this is a pretty overpriced fur farm. So let's buy this farm, I guess. And plus that gives us, you know, a whole bunch of money to play around with as we go on. Which is really nice. Uh, improve relations with countries Ireland and Brittany. Yeah, I mean, I know, but like, how do I do that? I really do not understand. Neutrality. I don't understand how I gain more influence. I think it's got something to do with espionage, but I'm really not certain. Um, all right, can we buy something? Can we buy anything? Fur manufacturing works or a stonecutter's camp? Well, let's get a stonecutter's camp, and I believe that that will mark our first, um, our first investment into Brittany, which is quite exciting. Uh, let's try and turn a bunch of weapons or a bunch of raw resources into weapons take that any day of the week and then let us progress onwards yeah espionage let's go and have a look at espionage because i'm really not sure how this works so there is this is the same screen that i'm that i'm using on the map what is what is this i got influence i don't understand how i get more influence next level of relations I still don't, I don't understand how any of this works. It's so difficult. Like, t I just don't understand it. Um, do you just give me 10, inf like, 10 influence per turn? Is that how you work? So we're on, um, hold on, let's check this out. Let's check this out. So we have 68 influence at the moment. If I go to the next move, we're on 78. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Wait, distrust, neutrality. Okay, so we can't actually improve our relations with them, um, with anyone here. Okay, can we upgrade our espionage headquarters? Let's do that, actually, yeah. Improve department espionage. I know, I've just improved it. We need headquarters to be level 3 before we can do that. So does that mean that we can hire someone new? I think that it actually does mean that we can hire someone new. Expensive search. Investment, credits, protection, espionage. You're not very good at espionage. You're very good at espionage. You're pretty bad at espionage. I probably shouldn't have got you. You're fired. Um, wow, you're great at espionage. Holy cow. Welcome to the team, buddy. And now we've got two members of staff in our espionage department. Um, very, very cool. What are... Okay, so... We need to be tailoring... We need to be tailoring this for, for what we need, apparently. I should have realized that. You're pretty good. Welcome to the team. You're off the team. You're on the team. Oh, he's also great at being a guard. 
I really don't understand how this um, this whole guarding thing works. Um, I didn't really talk about it earlier in the first episode because I don't understand how it works. Um, see? We've got credits, which is... What the hell does this even mean? In the process, the guard is no work because there are no overdue loans. Can we loan here? Okay, so we we can give out loans. And I guess the guards are like the debt enforcers? I guess that makes sense. So we've technically loaned out some, some stuff. Is that... Am I correct in saying that? I, this is just a guess. I think we've done that. I don't know. Um, anyway, let's create a whole bunch of swords, a whole bunch of bows. Let's put that into the uh, into the order machine. Let's go to the exchange and let us sell off a bunch of stuff. In fact, no, we're not going to sell off a bunch of stuff. Because the value is going to increase um, exponentially almost. Um in one, two, three turns. So we can wait three turns. Okay. Let's go have a look over here. See if there's anything of value. Um, nothing that I'm really interested in. Two. We don't want to go bust. Because if we go bust, the game literally just ends. So I'm going to make sure that we sell off some of our resources. Uh, well, we can sell off furs. furs. Furs are at a good price right now. So let's sell off furs and let's go and make some more weapons. Just our standard combination, please. There we go. And next turn. Great. Now, I believe this was the turn that we agreed to uh, to sell off weapons. In fact, I should wait another two turns. If I wait another two turns, then uh, we're going to be even richer. So, why not wait? We might as well. Um, also, in terms of our influence... Hold on. Why are, why are all these things green? Also, did we get money? We can, we can give people, okay, hold on a minute. So this moves one, I don't understand this. So is this, in three moves, we get 5% profit on our investment, but it costs us a thousand, obviously. Well, we'll give that loan then, I guess. We need to make sure that we don't go bankrupt, so we're going to sell some furs which will give us enough to cover over our expenditure uh, have we produced weapons this turn already? no we have not let's produce weapons because the available work might not be as large next time I still don't understand how that works anyway uh, cool and when did I say that we were going to trade um, weapons? in two turns wasn't it? let's go to the next move let's go to the exchange sell off a bunch of furs um, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to sell off a bunch of uh, weapons. In fact, let's sell off all of the bows right now because the bows are at the 7.9 ducat price anyway. Um, they are going to be going up to 8, but we can't hold off forever. Let's sell them all now, and that'll give us a good amount of, uh, a good chunk of change, really. So, if I go into credits, if I go into credits and I have a look here, I can see that we currently have a borrower... Um, and that is giving us money. So we're going to actually get money. That's great. It still doesn't show... It doesn't show in our income here because there is no way to show income, apparently. Um, interesting. Fine. Doesn't particularly matter. Manage our farms. Um, speaking of managing everything, is there anything that we want to buy? I haven't bought anything in a couple of turns. Not super important, actually. I think that we're we're trundling along quite nicely. Let's also have a little look at the stats, see how we're doing. We're still at the very bottom of the value, um, but we are in two countries and we are in two regions. That's kind of exciting, actually. Um, yeah, nothing really that we want to buy. Espionage, quickly, let's have a little look at espionage. We can do, uh, we can upgrade both of these, both of these dudes. Um, we could do a gathering. I mean, I care more about Ireland, I think. Let's do that. So that's neutrality plus two. 
Still don't understand what, what that means. But anyway, um, it seems that espionage is kind of working slowly but surely. We're, we're getting there. Um, I think we want to create some more weapons. Order. When did I say that we were going to be selling off the next batch? Um, one, two, three turns. Three turns. Okay. One turn. Let me check the investments, see if there's anything of value. There's a fur farm. Let's do that. Let's let's sell off our resources and let's um let's let's buy a fur farm. We've got we've got about fourteen thousand tied up in um tied up in resources now. So that's that's a pretty good time to sell anyway. Um, we'll just take that the opportunity to uh, to sell everything. Uh, I won't sell furs. We can do a little bit better next turn if we sell furs. Let's sell off all of our swords, all of our um all of our everything actually. Let's also sell off a bunch of stone. Uh, cool. And let's get a whole bunch of money into the bank. That is exactly what matters. Uh, I'll take the fur farm. It's quite nice. I'm not super interested in anything else. Um, if we go to uh, the credits page, you can see that we've still got one move remaining, which is kind of nice. I still don't understand exactly what it means. Non-repayment. I mean, I know what non-repayment means, but how does it relate to anything? No idea, really. Uh, also, are we going to see next turn our gold jump up by like a thousand as the loan gets returned to us? Not really. That didn't happen. Um, so we can collect. Oh, see, look, it's in Russian. Amount of debt. Collect. Where's my money? <laughs> Where is it gone? <laughs> Guess I'll give you a loan there. Um, cool. Send the guard to collect the debt. Department guards. I know, I just sent them. I just sent them, dude. Did I not send them correctly? I thought I did. In the process of... In the process of processing. <laughs> okay, fine, I guess. Uh, yeah, we just took out another one with someone else as well. Um, is there anything that we want to buy? Uh, a house? Yeah, I would like a house. But I, I like um, I like, I like buildings that actually produce stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna buy you. Cool. Leaves us with about four thousand in the bank, thirty five thousand in ownership. Anyway, ladies and gents, on that note, we're gonna end the episode. Thank you very very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato. This has been Evil Bank Manager, and I'll see you next time. Bye.